Good afternoon everybody, this is now part 7 of our second day Dialax Evo training. So okay, I hope you are now finished creating your building. Also the stairs are from the objects. See, these are all objects. And I also hope that you have finished your stairs here. These are also again objects. See, this wall is an object and this one again is an object. And these poles again are objects stairs poles walls and object this one also is an object so just keep using the extrusion volume command and you can uh, create this amazing design for your building this one is another an extrusion volume object so be patient on that if you want to know the design of this go back to your uh, section view and you will find out how this dome will be look like see this one so you can create this one one by one in objects so this is see how it looks like oh there are missing poles here like this i don't know why it's not copied properly and this ramp again is similar to what i show you in dialax evo just keep on doing similar to that one and this one this one is uh, also created in the extrusion volume so it's a combination of box and circular so yeah and what else okay now we are going to discuss on how to create or how to put luminaires on this uh, landscaping and facade lighting so let's go back to the original file and go to the site view so go to your luminaire and for example you will put a uh, for example um, a bollards on this uh, pathwalk so let's go and select our bollard and for example okay you can get this bollard from from the website so let's make it as favorite so we can use it on the other dialogs file so let's go and go to the favorites now it's not showing okay it's not showing so what we can do is go to the website for lighting and then go to the outdoor and then go to the urban amenity lighting and then select the bollard this decolored bollard and then select for example the 700 meter height and select the class 1 with 30, uh, 3000 Kelvin uh, color temp so let's click this dialog um, text and then it will go directly to your now I'm using the, the Google Chrome so it's like this so just say open and then once it's open it will go directly to your dialogs Ebo file so now it's here so for example I want to create a line for this one Either I will create, I will put it one by one, like drag and drop, drag and drop, but it's time consuming. See, I have it here. So the other way is to create a reference line, a curve reference line, like this. And then later on, we will insert this bollard to this reference line. So and not close so end this curve line and then we will make it like this so if you're happy with this uh, curve line then go and deselect and then press this one bollard make sure you inserted one bollard because you're going to copy it and then once you selected it um, go to this tab copy and arrange and click the copy along existing reference line and then click the reference line and then you need to indicate how many bollards you want to put in this uh, reference line let's say for example I want 12 pieces so just type 12 and then apply and now you will have a properly spaced bollard in a curved line so it's easy so you need to delete now this one and this original one so now we have 
bollards all along the reference line. Easy, right? So this is the same manner that we're going to do in our facade lighting. So go back to the plan view and create a reference line or a curved reference line on your building facade. For example, here. So we will create a reference line here and here and here and here. Now all you have and then press end. All you have to do now is select the luminaire or linear uh, fitting that you want to put in your facade lighting. For example, I will uh, select one fitting from maybe this um, ACDC fitting. So go, let's go to the ACDC lighting because they have nice linear floodlights or linear luminaire and then go to the international and then products linear and then let's for example let's select this um, Fino and then we can download the photo metrics here and then Fino uh, LDT data let's select this one and then we will save it in our pictures and then save and then we will open the folder and extract the zip file and then open it now this is the Fino um, LDT files and now we can use it in our Dialux Evo you can um, minimize this folder and then go and select your Dialux Evo and then open again the, the minimized folder and you can just drag and drop the IELTS file to, to your Dialux Evo. This is another way on how, uh, on how to import the Dialux file or the IELTS file to your Dialux Evo. So we can select the SBR30. Yeah, okay, you need to know the difference of these codes. So let's say this is... Um, for example, we selected this one, just drag and drop. Now, our luminaire is here now. See? It's already here. If you open it, this is our luminaire. Easy. Just drag and drop. And then rotate, and then this one. So now we selected our first luminaire for our linear floodlight. And then once you selected it, Press again this copy and arrange and then copy along the existing reference line and then click this one. And for example, we will assume that this linear floodlights or these reference lines will fit um, maybe 15 pieces. Then follow the curve shape, press that one and select this 180 degrees or maybe zero. Let's try. Okay, so zero is wrong. So let's go back, select this one and then follow the reference line copy it let's make it 15 pieces and then let's make it 90 follow curve line follow the curve shape in 90 degrees and let's see yes this is correct so once for example you selected I think the spacing is wrong so we can add one more let's copy along the reference line again and make it 20 pieces and then press the follow curve shape and then 90 and then apply now I think this is fine so once you selected your, I mean, once you arrange your luminaires like this, you can now move it to your building, right click and then move. And then you can now place it into your facade. So just keep on moving it and then make sure that it is facing up. So rotate it, right click, rotate. You have to know how to play your uh, front view, side view, and 3D view, and plan view. So now I will rotate it again. Okay, let's go and move it. Okay, for example, go to the uh, side view, and then, oops, move it up. And make sure you are in 3D, because um, the building is also in that, in the 90 degrees. So make sure it is properly... Updated. Okay. 
rotate it again a little. I don't know how to. Okay. We need to play with the rotation here now. It doesn't look like it rotates properly. Okay, so that's how it goes. So just keep on playing with the rotation and make sure it fits inside your facade like this one. Alright, so that's it. And uh, let's proceed now to the next video on how to put a color with blue on this one, for example. I think we're almost done. So that's it.